and welcome back to the 2018 Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference Media Day. Well, you saw a little institutional video on the university, but let's take it to the field with the football players. Joining me now, Bryson Allen and Kiwan Selby from Delaware State University, the Hornets. I'm going to put it out there right away. Y'all ain't stung nobody in a long time. What's it going to take for Delaware State to bring the sting back into football? Um, I think right now it's just, you know, believing in the program. Uh, right now everybody is um, buying in. Um, right now everybody's buying in right now to uh, Coach Milstead's plan on, you know, trying not to be the bottom but try to be the head of the conference. Um, you know, it starts up top in Delaware, so we're just trying to make sure that we change the culture right now. And when you talk about Delaware State football, you kind of want to know, can they win on a consistent basis? We've seen some times where I've seen you all one time a couple years ago give A&T all they can handle down there in Greensboro. You say, if they keep trending in that direction, they're going to be competitors. Right. But then you have to say, well, then the next week you lose to a game and it's not even close. What are y'all doing to address that consistency label, uh, Kiwan? Um, I feel like we just had to trust that process. We had to buy into what our coaches are saying. I feel like with Coach Milstead coming in, he's setting a great tone. And like, I feel like our seniors have really been leaders this year. And like everybody just trusting the process and following the process. So we'll be good this year, I feel like. Uh, defensively, let's stick on the defensive side of the ball. What changes do you anticipate coming from one coaching staff to the next? What are going to be some of the immediate changes we'll be able to recognize right away? I just feel like it's a lot more energy. Like I said, everybody's brought into the system now. It's going to be a lot more energy, more physical, playing fast and running to the ball. And some of that we didn't do in the past years. And have you learned what some of the areas that you had to address? Did you all have to get a little stronger in the trenches? Uh, what are some of the areas of concern that you all had to address? Because, you know, Coach Mills is coming in. He just knows what you all tell him. You know, we see the field, but you guys know internally, you know, what we have to do. What are some of the things that you all tried to address during the offseason as players? Um, I feel like all around, you know, previous years, we tried to bring in as many freshmen as possible, but Coach Millstead with the Jew carved out a little bit, and he got a bunch of transfers. So, like, all around for his linebacker in the trenches, it's going to help us out with the new guys we got. I got you. And, uh, offensively, you know, defensively played great, but you got to put points on the scoreboard. And you've been able to have a, a great career down there at the running back position. you one of the stars that they've got there, one of the best in the conference. Supporting cast. How do you feel about your supporting cast offensively this year? Um, I feel really great about our supporting cast. Um, I feel like Coach Day has done a really good job. That's our offensive coordinator. I think he's done a really good job with, um, you know, getting our playmakers the ball and spreading the ball around. Um, we have, you know, uh, his twin brother, Teron Selby, our receiver. He led the team in receiving yards last year. Um, Mike Waters at running back as well with me. Um, we got a lot of different uh, – Trey Gross, he was a freshman last year, freshman walk-on. He made a lot of plays for us during uh, the second half of the season. So I feel like um, – we got a lot of different weapons that we're now using and we're now exposing to, uh, you know, to our teammates and everything now that we can actually use. And will you all keep the, the same philosophy you anticipate? You'll be running the ball a little bit more. You're going to be throwing the ball a little bit more. They're all going to tell me we're going to give you 50-50 ratio. We're going <laughs> to do both. But, but what's the strength of this I, offense? Um, you're a running back, man. Hand, hand. <laughs> um, I th we just gonna, to be honest, it's just we're gonna we're gonna do whatever we're gonna do whatever works for us. We're not worried about nobody else. We're not worried about you know what you did on film and what's gonna work best against you. We're gonna do what works best for our team. I think that was our problem in the years before was what was the other team's weakness instead of what was our strength. So I think now we're just going against you know what's gonna work what's gonna work for us. You know at that game, we're not gonna go into it and be like you know this is gonna work. All, running the ball is going to work. Mm -hmm. Passing the ball is going to work. We're going to figure it out as we go along. And you think that strength is going to be the running game? I believe so, yes. Okay. Then we talk about, let's go back to, to defense a little bit. Going against some of these offenses, you got some juggernauts out there that are coming back, particularly the defending champion, North Carolina a and uh, When you're gearing up for one of those high-powered offenses like that, what's your defensive mindset? We just got to get out there. It's whoever... It's really whoever attacks first. And I feel like that's what we got to do on the defensive side. We got to play physical. We got to want to be aggressive. And we can't, like, show any signs of, like, fear or anything like that. We just got to attack every moment of the game. And what's the motto of Delaware State football for this upcoming season? I think right now it's just chop the wood. You know, that was um, that was a phrase that they used, you know, back in the day. And, you know, our strength coach, uh, Coach Welsh, he's been using it throughout the whole summer. So, you know, every day we're just going one and no. One and no, Coach James, our defensive line coach, every day we got to go one and no. We can't worry about yesterday. We can't worry about the day after. You got to win today. Yeah, and I'll, I'll tell you something, you know, having played in this conference, people probably don't know this. One of the toughest road trips that I used to make that I hated making was coming to Delaware State. 
right? It's tough. We, Howard always plays y'all at the end of the year. It's going to be cold. It's going to be windy. It's hard to get hyped up, and y'all would be hyped up, and y'all used to have a defense that would bring it with the Brian Randalls and the Leroy Thompson and all those people there. So it's good for Delaware State to have that mentality. Chop wood one game at a time. And I'm going to give you one last opportunity to tell the folks at home why Delaware State's going to sting somebody this year. It's, it's just been too long. It's too long. You got some seniors that are really proud of being where we're from. We're both from Wilmington, Delaware, so we got to rep our state proud. Um, you know, I'm proud to be a Delaware State Hornet, so everything's going to be different. And you heard that here. And yes, they are from the state of Delaware trying to represent their home state. Best of luck to Delaware State this upcoming season. Bryson Allen, Kiwan Selby, continued success to you all, more success to you all. And I look forward to catching you all down the road. Thank you. Thank you. And we'll have more from 2018 Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference Media Day after this. And a quick word from our upcoming school next. Who is it? The Bulldogs, South Carolina State. They're in the house, y'all.